Hello everyone. Welcome to Vegan Serum Mac. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to come out of confusions in surface areas and volumes formulas, such as a volume of cylinder formula. Is it uh, pi r square h or 2 pi r h? Let me uh, screen share and show you. So we have to understand uh, some basic things. Uh, area, usually it is used to measure two dimensions, right? Areas, they are uh, used to measure two dimensions, right? So then they should have two units, right? So we call them as a square units. Then next point is volumes. They usually help us to measure three dimensions. Like you can take a volume of cuboid is uh, length times breadth times height, right? So volume of cuboid is length times breadth times height. So it's basically helping us to measure three dimensions. Volumes help us to measure three dimensions, right? So then they should have three units. If you multiply, so you should get cubic units. Okay. Uh, so areas usually. Uh, they, are uh, they give square units for us and volumes they give cubic units for us. So that much usually we are all uh, familiar. Okay, but uh, how to get that information from the formulas? So let's take a pi r square h and a 2 pi r h. So these two are formulas of cylinder. Isn't it? So here pi is a constant and here 2 pi are also constant. We have to ignore constants. We have to concentrate only on variables. So here r power is 1 and h power is 1. Right? So powers sum you find out. Power sum, if you see, it is 1 plus 1, 2. Okay? So if the powers of variables, so they sum up to 2, then they help us to measure uh, square units. Okay? So this formula is definitely the uh, curved surface area formula. Okay. So now come to here. So here uh, constants we are not interested and we just check the variable powers. And here uh, if you see the uh, variables of power sum, variable powers sum is a 3. So if the variables powers sum is a 3, then this formula is going to help us to measure 3 dimensions. So it, we will get the answer in cubic units. Okay, so that's how this formula is volume formula. So just we have to observe the variable powers and we have to sum them. If the variables powers they sum up to 2, then it is a squaring formula. If the variables power uh, sum up to 3, then it is a volume formula. Okay, so let's see uh, for other uh, figures also. Uh, for a cone, so you have uh, pi r l and we have 1 by 3 pi r square h. These are the two formulas. So here uh, this is a constant. Ignore r power is 1, l power is 1. So powers are summing up to 2. So definitely this is going to be an area formula. So here 1 by 3 pi r uh, constants. So we ignore. So here uh, variable powers if you see r power 2 h power 1. So we add the uh, powers of variables right so it is a 3 so variable powers are summing up to 3 so definitely this is volume of cone formula right so if you take a sphere so sphere uh, we have two formulas so that is a 4 by 3 pi r cube then a 4 pi r square two formulas right so constants ignore r power 3 so power 3 so it should be a volume formula 4 pi constant ignores power 2 so then it is an area formula. So next, what we have? So we have hemisphere. So hemisphere, uh, we have uh, two, pi, 2 by 3 pi r cube and uh, 2 pi r square. So I'm taking here only the curved surface area of uh, hemisphere. So 2 by 3 pi r constant ignore r power of 3. It is So it is volume formula. So ignore constants r power is a 2. So then that's how it is area formula. 
so that's how uh, very easily we can uh, come out of confusions in this areas and volume formulas of surface areas and volume change. I hope you like this trick. Happy learning.